2024 is going to be one of the greatest years in the history of LEGO Star Wars. So guys, we have a lot of stuff coming out in 2024 regarding LEGO Star Wars, and I think it's going to be one of the best years we've had to date. So we've got a lot of like very high sought-after figs coming out for the 20th, 5th anniversary of Star Wars. We've got Jedi Bob, we got Fives, we got Malgus, we got a Thrawn returning, we got Ezra returning, a new Ahsoka the White, we've got Captain Enoch, which is really sought after right now. We've got those variant figs coming in, that Millennium Falcon with Vader, um, white out, whited Vader, or white out Vader, whatever you want to call it, dark ray, um, some sort of Gungan, which will be interesting to see, but you will see 3PO and Evo Chewbacca. Uh, we've also got other sets like um, the Captain Rex's microfire coming out, uh, which will give everyone the opportunity to get a Captain Rex. We got the Cody Brickheads coming out, so a lot of really sought after figs coming out in some really cool ways this year. And uh, even if you want to call it a fig, we got that billboard droidica coming out, so that'll be a really good addition to anyone's collection. Hoping that pairs well with my, um, you can't see it right now because of my dioramas, but uh, my <laughs> Imperial probe droid I got back there. So hoping those look good by each other. But yeah, guys, we've got so much coming out this year, and I truly think it'll go down as one of the greatest years in LEGO Star Wars history. Uh, I think they're going to nail the box art with that 25th anniversary logo. I think that looks really good and is definitely exactly what they should have done. Some people like want clones or something, but if you're going to go like classic Star Wars, R2-D2 is the way to go, especially when he's doing that Le Leia hologram. Like That's just the most one of the most classic scenes you can do. Uh, we've also got sets like the um, Darth Vader hallway on the on hallway scene that takes place on the Tantip. That's going to be a very sought after one because people have been asking that for years now. And even the um, Phantom Menace anniversary sets are fantastic. We have the Droidica, like I already said. We have the pod racing diorama, which I think will be fantastic. The pod racers are some of my favorite things in LEGO. And the dioramas are also, so to see those come together, I think is going to be fantastic. We've got the um, Sith Infiltrator coming out, so that will give us a lot of new things. we got uh, a Brick Heads pack coming out for Phantom Menace. And then we have even more sets coming out with obviously some of them being the Billable R2-D2 and the Billable C-3PO. Um, we've got all those Ahsoka sets like I mentioned. We've also got uh, the highly anticipated UCS Java sale barns that's pretty much guaranteed to come out at this point. We don't have any like truly official leaks, but that's pretty much a guarantee based off that survey that came, survey that came out last year. Um, and with that, we're going to have a uh, Desert Skiff and a Sarlacc Pit, which will pair very nicely together. Super excited about that. And on top of that, we've got all those anniversary fags. We mentioned five Malgus, but we've also got young Jedi Leia, as well as the highly anticipated Cal Kestis. So that one will be really cool to get in LEGO. And hopefully they give that figure a lot of printing and really just hit it home uh, when it comes to that figure. But guys, all that being said, like we have so much stuff coming out in 2024, and I truly think it's going to be one of the best years for LEGO Star Wars. I don't think we've had this like stacked of a year in a long time, where it's like, everything has some sort of just heater in it like getting a Thrawn and a 40 50 dollar set is going to be great um every other fig that comes in that set is fantastic like there's really no misses the only misses i can potentially see is uh the fives obviously that's a miss but like the set itself is going to be great i don't really think they can mess that one up uh the billable c3 peel may be a little iffy especially at that price point uh, if they throw another anniversary fig in i think that'll help it a lot but it being $150 I think is a big ask so that being said I don't think there's many even possibilities that LEGO could like miss or do any of these sets wrong and I think it's a great way to celebrate the anniversary by just giving us kind of a little bit from like everything LEGO Star Wars um, and the focus on the Phantom Menace I think is great too We're getting a lot of really good sets there we're gonna see a return of Maul, Qui-Gon, Padme uh, as well as some other figures in those other uh, episode 1 sets so there's so much to come out next year, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel as we stay up to date on all these leaks and rumors that come out. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys think this year will be one of the best ones, because I truly think it will be. I am really have my expectations high for this year based on the leaks and stuff that have already come out. So I really hope it's a good one, but I want to know if you guys think so too. As always, leave a like down below because it helps me get my content out there and more people to see it. We're on the road to 400 subscribers now that we've just passed 300. So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate you guys watching and coming back every single week to view the videos. Our um, viewership percentages have gone way up since we first started. It used to be like 98% of you didn't sub and now it's more like 90. 
don't sub so <laughs> we're getting somewhere you gotta start somewhere but i uh, appreciate that of you guys as always um have a good one and until you guys until i see you guys again peace <laughs>